Hello and welcome. We are here talking about problem with dividend and capital gains yields. Now we're going to be looking for three different items in this particular problem that we're going to be working on. The problem that we're going to be looking at is we are going to be looking at something called the dividend yield. Dividend yield. We're going to be looking for the capital gains yield. And we're also going to be looking at the total yield. Now when we look at yields, the word yield, we are going to be looking for a percentage. So that's the direction that we're going to be going today. We're going to be looking for a percentage with a capital gains yield, the dividend yields, and the total yields within a particular problem. So let's get started. So here's what we're going to look for. We're going to start off with the dividend yield. That's the one that we're going to be looking for. We are going to assume that we have a stock and the per stock and we can call the stock XYZ. Now the stock itself on the XYZ stock is the current price, so the current price, let's call it $37.50. That's what it's currently trading for. The projected dividend of the stock is going to be a dollar forty-five, and this is remember what the company pays to its shareholders. So this is kind of this is money being paid for every share that a company has, and then we have something called the projected stock price. Now the projected stock price is a price that is projected, obviously, but it's there's nothing in stone saying it's going to hit there, but that's what they think it's going to reach on a certain time. Okay, the analysts believe that it's going to hit a certain number, and so they think it's going to hit $43. So we have a stock at the currently trading at $37.50. We have a projected dividend yield of $1.45. So this is what it's going to be paid to us as a shareholder. And then we're thinking that we have a projected stock price at $43, and that means that we're probably going to sell it when it hits $43. So what we're looking to do is we are going to calculate the dividend yield, the capital gains yield, and also the total yield for this particular stock. So let's get started. So the dividend yield is we are going to, we're going to call this DIV yield just for ease in my notes here. Dividend yield is going to be equal to, and we're going to take $1.45, which is this number, divide it by $37.50, the starting price, and then we are going to come up with a number or percentage of 3.87%. So what we did is we took the dividend and we divided it by our starting price and that gave us our dividend yield which will always be a percentage. So then we have what we call the capital gains yield. Now the capital gains yield is going to be this. It's going to be the starting price, or sorry, the selling price of the stock which is $43 minus the cost, so 37.50. So we're going to take these two numbers, 43 minus 37.50, and we're going to divide this by 37.50, what we started. So what this number right here gives us is profit. So we're going to take the profit over the cost of where we started, and that will give us a capital gain. So remember, capital gains is essentially a profit number. 1467, 14.67% will be the answer to this one. So then what we're going to look at is we are going to look at our total yield. Now total is exactly what it is. It's going to be the total of the dividends and also the total of the uh, capital gains. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to take 3.87% plus 14.67% and it's going to be 18.54%. So if you added these two together right here, or you add it this way, it's the same thing. So the total is 18.54%, those two added together. I hope this explained the dividend and capital gains yield problem.